Max, is Dusty Baker the one to blame for this? No. Listen, Dusty Baker, I, I, what they say is twice is coincidence, three times is a pattern in nature. So what's ten times, right? Dusty Baker, this seems to always happen to you. You can say this is a pattern, it's his fault. But if you watch enough sports, you will find that some people just get unlucky. Maybe they don't make enough of their own good luck. I'm not claiming Dusty Baker is the greatest manager who ever lived. But look at what just happened. His moves worked. Everything he d did seemed to work. It's just that then in the execution, it was botched. He comes in, Scherzer comes in and gets two quick outs, looks totally dominant, throwing close to 100 miles an hour, and then you get a, an infield hit. That means it's a weekly hit ball. That's the nature of baseball. You can't always determine exactly where they're going to hit the ball. A, a little bloop that gets over the infield. A strikeout that ends the inning. The inning's over. Struck him out, except the bat hits the, hits the catcher, and it's not a reviewable play. I mean, there is... That's not Baker's fault. His move worked. Whatever you want to say about bringing in a, a starting pitcher on short rest, how that generally doesn't work out well if you're bringing him out of the bullpen, it did work out well. Scherzer did what he was supposed to do. These are a, a series of, of, of bad luck events plus a freak event or two, and, and usually in a game like that you can just point to one or two of those things. There were so many things like that in that game that I'm only left with one conclusion, and it's not that Dusty Baker's fault and he blew it. It's that the Nationals are the new Cubs. It seems that the baseball gods work like this, everybody. Someone has to be the scapegoat team, right? Or not the scapegoat team, but the bad luck team. The tragically bad luck team. And it used to be the Cubs. Theo Epstein got there and somehow, through, uh, through rational thought, got rid of that curse. But now the curse has to go somewhere. It's landed on the Nationals. They're snake bit. What else could be the explanation? Dusty Baker's moves worked. The problem is the Nats are the new Cubs. The baseball gods hate them for some reason. Well, that's the, that's the walk away you take away, that they're the new Cubs. The, 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 the takeaway for me is Bryce Harper ain't going to be there too much longer. Why be associated with this black cat running around this franchise? You got to get the hell up out of there. You know, get some good luck on your way, even though he struck out the to Yankees end the game. Here the Yankees are a good destination. I mean, I, I, I'm just saying, you're Bryce Harper. You, you know, some have speculated that you're the $400 million man. You don't want the NLDS ending with you getting struck out with a one-run deficit. No, 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 no. That, that $400 million man, no, no, no. You, that ain't how it's supposed so, to end Stephen for a., you. Stephen A., what are you saying? Are you saying Judge, Harper, Sanchez to break up the righties and then Bird? No. Is that how I'm the not Yankees saying that. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm no. not even going that route because I'm not thinking along those okay. lines. What I would tell you is this. I think Dusty Baker gets saved here because it was Max Scherzer in there when all of this was happening. We know what a stud he is, and we know that it takes this, this just unbelievably bad luck coming his way in order for something like this to transpire. You got your catcher, this white, this guy waiters, he got whiters, whatever the hell his name is. This dude sits up there, and, and obviously he gets hit with the bat but still doesn't catch the third strike and then throws it. It gets by the first baseman, by the second baseman, into the field. So ultimately, you're going to score runs on that. You hit another batter by a pitch. I mean, all of this stuff, everything that could have possibly gone wrong did go wrong for the Washington Nationals. But I will say this, because I love me some Dusty Baker. Here's the problem Dusty Baker has. Even though it's just an extraordinary level of bad luck, the kind of inexplicable stuff that you can't explain, even with Max Scherzer hitting a batter with the, you know, for the first time, I mean, in his career, the base is loaded. That has never happened to him. I mean, just unbelievable stuff that happened. Ten straight closeout losses. Ten straight? That is a very, very, very bad record to have, okay? I, I mean, that got me. That, I, I got to admit, when I saw that, I started thinking Marvin Lewis. That's what I started thinking about. I started thinking about Marvin Lewis. So I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not holding this against Dusty Baker. This is not a managerial issue. This is not a decision-making issue. He made all the right calls, and it was working. Except, you know, bad luck came his way. But sometimes, if that level of bad luck is associated with you, you got to be the fall guy. Tomorrow, I'm not saying that should be the yeah. case here, but it's like, damn, I, I got to try. I might have to try something new, even though it's not your fault at all. Just that level of bad luck. I don't. I don't know if I want that contaminating me. You might have people you know who something? think like that.